I have already prepared everything I need. Soil, expanded clay, my choice of flowers, and of course the planters. You need about two liters of expanded clay. It stops the soil from blocking the drainage holes, improves drainage and prevents waterlogged soil. And it also ventilates the soil really well. Simply pour about 10 liters of soil over the top. I'm mainly planting herbs that I can use for cooking. But really, your imagination knows no bounds. Herbs, flowers, foliage, anything is possible. You can even grow vegetables such as cherry tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuce with nature up. Try it out for yourself. But back to the planting. Position the plants at a slight incline, at an angle of 45 degrees. Simply fill the spaces in between with a little soil. But make sure it's well below the fill line. What's really practical is that you don't need any tools to set up the planters. Simply put the four connecting clips in the troughs, put the lid on, press lightly so that the lid locks to the clips, click, and you're finished. Easy as pie, and without the need of any tools. It's important that the base is level. I take this base plate here and put the planters on it. You can stack as many planters on each other as you want, depending on how high you want your wall of plants to be. The fourth row has to be secured. It's super quick and easy with these fixing accessories. Simply plug the back into the connecting clips. Remove the protective film from the adhesive area and then simply press the fixing accessories to the wall. If you have a smooth surface, the adhesive is often enough. For my wall, I'm using nails for extra security. And for all those who want to aim high like me, please note, you now have to secure every second additional row of the wall. It's best to keep checking how stable the whole thing is and then attach additional rows to the wall as needed. With the Nature Up corner solution, I can even fill my nooks and crannies with plants. This means I can expand my wall of plants to the right, to the left, upwards, and even around the corner. Oh, by the way, you don't need any expanded clay for the corner elements. At the end, put the lid back on and you're finished.